Multi-threaded rendering splits drawing work across multiple threads and can improve performance on CPUs with multiple cores. But multi-threaded rendering can cause hitching and lower FPS on weaker CPUs. Hi, I'm Cram, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing whether you should have multi-threaded rendering on or off in Fortnite. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so when I release a new video, you get notified. Now, depending on where you look, the answer to whether you should turn multi-threaded rendering on or off will differ. The only way I could get a definitive answer was to run a few different tests of my own. On your screen, you'll see the exact specifications for my system, so I'm using a CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads in the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. If you want to check how many cores your CPU has, you can go to the Performance tab in Task Manager. And if you don't see the option to allow multi-threaded rendering in your Fortnite settings, it could be because your CPU doesn't have enough cores and you may want to upgrade your CPU. Now, for my tests. I wanted to test the impact of multi-threaded rendering in a few different ways. For this first test, I'm in a blank Fortnite creative map and looking directly up at the sky. This is a best case scenario where I would be getting very high FPS. I also ran this test using low settings and high settings to give you an idea of the impact of using multi-threaded rendering with different settings. Now on your screen, you'll see the results of this Fortnite creative test, which shows the average FPS, 1% low and 0% low FPS when using multi-threaded rendering. So in this Fortnite creative test, turning on multi-threaded rendering actually reduced my average FPS, but it was only by 2 FPS which is less than a 1% difference, so it's negligible. What's more interesting, however, is in the case of the 1% and 0% low FPS. And in both of these cases, having multi-threaded rendering turned on improved my performance by more than 2%. Now for this second test, I'm using the replay system in Fortnite to watch a tournament game of the FNCS Invitational. And I've picked a part of the replay where it's the end of the game with a moving zone and a lot of players and a lot of building, so this should give a more realistic scenario of how the impact of multi-threaded rendering works. Again, I ran this test using low settings and high settings, and on your screen you'll see the results from this test. Here, the results are much more significant. You can see that my average FPS, 1% low FPS, and 0.1% low FPS all improved dramatically when using multi-threaded rendering. In fact, my average FPS improved by more than 10%, which is a considerable boost. So, what's the verdict on using multi-threaded rendering in Fortnite? Well, my tests show that turning on multi-threaded rendering can improve FPS by a significant amount depending on the situation and the settings you use. Multi-threaded rendering also seems to improve the 1% low and 0.1% low FPS, suggesting that multi-threaded rendering leads to more consistent, smooth performance and less FPS drops when you play Fortnite. And in general, if you have a CPU with 4 or more cores, then you will most likely benefit from turning multi-threaded rendering on. Turning multi-threaded rendering on in Fortnite is quick, simple and easy. All you need to do is go to your video settings and then scroll down until you see the advanced graphics section and turn it on. With all this being said, I have seen instances where the opposite is true and players get better FPS with multi-threaded rendering turned off. In other words, your mileage may vary depending on the specific hardware that you're using. So I recommend that you run your own tests because it's the only way for you to determine whether turning on multi-threaded rendering will positively impact the performance of your particular system. And you should take your performance in Fortnite seriously and try to maximize your FPS, because more FPS can actually make you a better player, allow you to hit more shots, and win more games. Anyway, that's the end of this video, and I hope you found this video useful and learned something new about multi-threaded rendering. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like and a comment on the video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me grow. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.